In this problem, we're trying to find the speed of a hockey puck subjected to a certain impulse. So when you have a graph of force versus time, you find the area underneath of the curve, and that will give you the impulse that was applied to the puck. You should realize that the impulse is also equal to the change in momentum of the puck. Since the puck started at rest, that area, which is our impulse, will be the change in momentum of the puck. Knowing the mass of the puck, we can find the change in speed of the puck. Since the speed started at rest, since the puck started at rest, the change in speed will equal the final speed of the puck. To get the area, since it's a triangular pattern for our graph, the best thing we can do is use the formula for a triangle, which is one-half base times height. Your base will be the time that the force was being applied for. The height will be the maximum amount of force. Okay, so we get the impulse by doing the area. We get the area by doing one-half base times height. Once we get that impulse, we set it equal to change in momentum and solve for change in velocity. That change in velocity is equal to the final velocity of the puck.